everybody and welcome to Dance Junkies TV. You're watching Ask the Pro. I'm Stuart Brazel, joined by the always fabulous Elena Grinenko. And today we have Sharna Burgess, but she says her name way cooler. <laughs> Shauna. So we're saying it the American <laughs> Sharna because there is an R up in there. Yes. So Shauna, Sharna. Yeah. yeah. So it's so great to have you. Of course, she's a member of the troupe. We've so thoroughly enjoyed watching you over the season. How was it? It was it was an incredible season actually. The the artists that we had come in, the celebrities that we had on yeah. the show, the talent that got put forward this season I think was a bigger and higher level than past seasons. So it made it kind of epic actually and cool to be a part of. Did you feel the difference between the last season when it was your first one and this season now that you're returning? Definitely there's like a comfort factor, you know what I mean? Because it's familiar to you now. It's like kind of going home in a sense. You miss it. Whereas when it's the first one, it's like, oh, I've got to meet everyone. I've got to remember everybody's name. I've got to like, <laughs> well, how does this work? How does that work sort of thing? But uh, going back into it a second time was um, I won't dare say easier because, you know, it's always a difficult schedule and you work really hard, but it was oh, definitely gosh, yeah. maybe Lots of a, hours. a lot more relaxed. Yeah, well, we good. of course love our fans and our audience. Thank you for sending in all your questions on Twitter, Facebook, shout out to Pure Dancing with the Stars. We have a ton of fan questions and reminders, subscribe to our YouTube. We love you. And if you're watching this video, like it. I said it, do it. So we're <laughs> going to get to some questions and we'll of course interject our own throughout. But the first one is... What will you remember the most about Dancing with the Stars season 14? This is like the most favorite question. It is. They dance. love this right. question. Most favorite Your moment. most favorite moment. <laughs> um, for me, hands down, it's easy. Uh, when Kiss came on and performed on the show, I am the resident rock chick. And for me, being able to choreograph and dance with Kiss was... <laughs> A dream come true. It's like not something that being a ballroom dancer you think you're ever going to get the opportunity to do. Uh, so I was kind of beside myself when I found out and uh, brain went into overload on sort of what I could do choreographically but uh, it was an amazing week for me. I have a question actually, where is that whole rock chick come from? Are you a fan of rock music? Are you, Definitely, you know? my youth I was very much a rock chick. I was quite punk. Uh, <laughs> It was a different a days, hair. different days. Well, yeah, you were rocking some different colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like that. There's greens and blues. Blue mostly for the finale. Do. Yeah, yeah. I love the blue in my hair. Um, but I was definitely an angry rock chick as a teenager. <laughs> uh, we dropped the angry, still the rock chick. So, but uh, I do love my rock music. Why drop the angry? <laughs> I love that. Hey. It's got to be a people person in this yeah. industry. <laughs> That's for sure. And then, of course, you do a lot of the choreography for the troupe, which must be so exciting. What was your favorite piece to choreograph? I'm assuming it's going to be Kiss then. Another favorite question. Maybe what's your second favorite then? <laughs> Kiss was great. Another one, a fun one that I had was uh, Carrie Underwood. Um, she's so good. She's adorable. Adorable person. Great energy. Amazing voice. My God. Uh, dancing to her live was really, really cool. But uh, choreographing that piece was fun. It was just a whole lot of cha-cha in it. And I really, I had Val at the time and Tristan doing we it love with Val. me. Val and Tristan, we love them. We do, we love those two boys. And I have a question about that. Like when you choreograph all those people and all of us dancers have huge egos. So <laughs> you have about 10 people with big egos. <laughs> totally. Choreographing for them, how does that go for you? <laughs> it's, you know, some days it, it goes really easy and then other days it becomes 10 different opinions and you gotta yeah. try and work it through. But. I'm not the kind of person that wants to shut down someone's opinion because I think everyone has great creative ideas, but at the same time, too many cooks, you know, in, in the kitchen. It's how to manage right? all so, I'm recharged, so shut up. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's as a choreographer, you've got to find that balance between um, Mr. Nice Guy and, you know, not so Mr. Nice Guy mm -hmm. and trying to get it done, but uh, being assertive and being confident in your creative side and yep. your choreography puts other people at ease. So then, you know, things run a lot smoother. At the end of the day, everyone wants to just look good and have fun. Exactly, exactly. And everyone wants to do something that's comfortable for them. Right. So you try and work with it. And I know for some of the people in the US, you are a newer face, but give us a little bit, I mean, I did lots of research, but a little bit of your background and your dance history. Oh, wow. I, uh, when I was 18, I moved to London. Well, I started as a kid with jazz and ballet and tap and everything else. But as I was about 14, the rest of it dropped off and I stuck with ballroom. Um, I went away to the World Championships at 15 to represent Australia. 
I ended up busting my knee and having a knee reconstruction oh, in the semi-finals. No way. So I shall never find out how I went. Uh, but unfortunately, That's terrible. Yeah, it really, it was sad. It kept me off the floor for a six months, which ended up being two years without trying to find a partner and you know lack of boys Because it's like available. starting from scratch. Because it... absolutely yeah. trying to make that leg work the same way after you know having an operation just was devastating. Mm -hmm. um, but at 18, I decided this was it. I wanted to be a dancer. That's that's my career. And so I moved to London, and I started training over there. And two years after that, I got picked up for Burn the Floor. We uh, love Burn the Floor. Mm, amazing show. Such an incredible experience. The growth that I had in being with that show and learning about myself as a dancer was mm -hmm. incredible. Uh, I toured with them for six years. Six and years. Six touring. Years. Wow. How many countries did you see? Poker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Um, it's uh, it's funny though. You go to all these countries, but your schedule is so busy. You live in the. You theater. don't. That actually not. was my other question because when we compete, you still have like a day off to go and see Paris see the or London. So when you're touring, do you ever have a day to actually go and see the city? You do, and most of the time you want to spend that day in bed, <laughs> 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 recovering from the the eight shows that you just done. But. Um, it's, uh, you do try, especially if you're in amazing cities. Like when mm -hmm. we were in New York for eight months on Broadway, so yeah. I had the time and the opportunity to go and see all those sightseeing things and enjoy New York and especially the culture in New York. So you must have also had some good crossover with some of our other favorite Dance with the Stars people. Who were you on the show with over that time? Uh, Max and uh, Max came in, Karina came in, Kim was in, Did Derek was dancing? in. Sorry? Peter was still dancing. Peter was still dancing yeah. with us on Broadway. Uh, Henry Bialikov, Sasha Farber yeah. was dancing with us on Broadway. Emma Slater joined us at the end of Did Broadway. Did you ever cross over with Tristan there? No, I crossed paths with Tristan early uh, when I was living in London. Okay. And we ended Ooh. up doing... <laughs> I mean, he's always been a beautiful guy and that accent gets me every time. But, you don't know um, what he's saying, but you're like... Yeah, <laughs> you just sort of melt into it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like... <laughs> very sexy. Yeah. Very. Uh, but and he's we, so nice. Yeah, he's adorable. He's just the sweetest person down mm -hmm. to his core. He doesn't have a bad bone in his body. Uh, but we ended up working on the same show called Simply Ballroom back, wow, seven years ago now in London. And it was the first sort of stage production and step out of the competitive side of things that we'd ever done. Mm -hmm. What was that show about? It was Simply Ballroom. It was, it was like a, a mini... Uh, burn the floor in a sense. Okay. It was another ballroom spectacular mm -hmm. with six couples. More like a stage Everybody loves their ballroom yes. right okay. now. Everybody, yes. Yeah. So yeah. another popular question, this is from Ben. So there's so much hype about the All-Star season. Who would your picks be to come back for All-Star? That's really tough. It's hard. There's been, I mean, 14 seasons of some amazing dancers and great talents and great personalities. How do you pick? Just 10. Mm -hmm. You just gotta pick your favorite. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Chelsea Kane was great. I loved mm -hmm. Chelsea Kane. Mm -hmm. Nichole, Nicole. What, how do you say Scherzinger. Scherzinger. Well, I could never say that last name. What's cough? No, Nicole, that's, that's the head product. Or you could just call her. Pussy can't go doll. Nicole Pussy can't go doll. But also Sean Johnson, I loved. Yeah. I thought she was a super little talent. Um, she was great. Heinz Ward, obviously, was also great. And uh, Lacey's partner, the Disney kid. Kyle Massey. Kyle he's Massey. in the Vegas Kyle. show yeah, right now. Yeah, he's doing in Vegas. Yeah. 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 He was really yeah. good. He could he's, shake his bonbons. I think maybe we can get him back. He was good fun. And then another one, Steve wants to know, did you experience any culture shock coming from Australia and now dancing on one of the biggest shows on television? In the US, but you dance on the one in Australia, so. Yeah, I mean, it's- Steve, she's kind of got it going on, babe. <laughs> I kind of transitioned into this over a period of time. Right. I was choreographing on a movie before I was here performing on Dancing with the Stars and before that I'd been on tour and we'd guest starred as a company Burn the Floor on So You Think You Can Dance and on Dancing with the Stars. So you kind of get eased into this yeah. TV world just a little bit. You, but know you would what definitely I mean? like to be a pro though. She got lucky, totally she got a transition. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but you've seen your culture. troop guys, you know, if you look at PETA and Tristan, they started in the troupe. Absolutely. So. I think the troupe is great for that. It gets to introduce new talent. 
you get to sort of see how people are on TV because yeah. it's different. Yeah. People get different. upset when you take somebody that they were fans of and then you suddenly replace it with a younger one. Absolutely. Now you guys have it like, oh yeah, now I wish we could see her as a pro dancer. So you kind of, it's a better transition. So they, they don't hate you, they They're love you. They're not like, that girl yeah. came yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> Who is yeah. this girl? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I mean, the dancers on this show have huge fan bases. So yeah. um, it's, it's difficult to let them go and not make people mad about it. Mm -hmm. you you know what I mean? And then Hannah wants to know if you weren't a dancer, what would you do? Marine biologist. Whoa! When I was a kid, I was fascinated with dolphins and whales and, and sea life. And I wanted to, I've always wanted to be involved with animals. And I think if I wasn't a dancer, I would have ended up being a marine biologist. Did you go to school for any of that and dropped out because of dancing or no, it's just I mean, a dream? I, I didn't go to university yeah. or college for it, but during, whilst I was in high school, I was definitely, yeah. you know, your parents don't want you to just be a dancer. They want you to have a safety net. Oh, you yeah. know what I yeah. mean? So, go to college, then dancing. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? So I sort of, Finished school with high grades and, you know, just saying, all right, well, I've got this and I, you know, I've got uh, what the other thing that I want to do, but I'm really sorry, mum and dad, I'm going to London. Nice. <laughs> you know? So, Phyllis, in, as we wrap things up, Phyllis, in, what's going on with you right now? Where can we find you, see you, all of your fabulousness? Uh, plans I'm, for the future. Plans for the future. I'm actually heading to London in a couple of days. I've got some shows over there and some follow-up work from the movie because it only just got released Street about two Dance months ago. Two. Street Dance Two. Three days. Is it going to be a premiere? <laughs> I uh, no, it's already premiered. Oh, Unfortunately, already I couldn't go to it because we we're in mid-season. But yeah. uh, I am going to go over there and sort of follow up with a few things. Go just you know the usual shows and teaching. You and know, all that. just go to some things like choreographed and watch them. You no know, so I got to ask the question: Where do you like leaving more? Home, London, or LA? It's difficult. I haven't lived in Australia for eight years, but I do miss it. For mm -hmm. the culture and my family and my friends and all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. um, London, I only like when it's sunny. <laughs> Otherwise, Which is never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it seems kind of miserable and grey. Um, yeah. But what's funny when the sun comes out, it's it's a beautiful city. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, but I, my life is here in LA now. I love that it's always warm. I am a hot weather baby. Um, you yes. know, my my relationship is here. My career is here. Uh, what my dogs are we? Here. Are we dating someone then? <laughs> yeah, it's a we good question. Are, Who are we dating? Ooh. I am dating a, a, a dancer actually. His name's Paul Kirkland, but he's the other side of the industry. He does hip hop and nice. house. Nice. Uh, dancers are that some mixing. Yeah, he's. Uh, it's amazing to date someone in this industry, but that doesn't work side by side. Exactly. With you. Yes. Elena can speak to that as well. Yeah, you know, you draw a parallel. You can, you can relate, but you do not working together. You understand each absolutely. other, but it's not headbutting. Yes, exactly. absolutely. Absolutely. And where can everyone find you? Give us your Twitter, your Facebook, anything. You can find me on Facebook at Sharna Burgess. <laughs> I love her American <laughs> accent. <It's so> <laughs> and you can also Sharna. find me on Twitter under the same at Sharna Burgess. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you everybody for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.